Hey there, it's Jeff Salzenstein, and in today's video lesson, we're gonna get right to it. This is all about the forehand sitter, the put away forehand. We've had a few people send me emails the last couple of months. How the heck do you hit a forehand sitter put away? People are, are really struggling with this shot, and it's actually a shot that you shouldn't have to struggle with. It's one that you don't need to be frustrated with anymore, and you can handle it. So there's many components that go into the forehand sitter. But the one that we want to talk about today is where you finish with your hand and your racket at the end. So when you come up for this sitter, you're going to come up and today we're going to show the version where you're going to load up your outside leg and then land on your front leg or your inside leg after you make contact. But the key is where you finish. The ball, you want to take it above shoulder, shoulder or above. You don't want to let this ball drop. And when you finish, your racket is going to go down like this. You're going to finish low in this part, so it's anywhere from your pocket up to just below your chest, right around your rib cage right here. That's the key to being able to flatten out this ball. You're gonna load up the outside leg, you're gonna jump in the air, and then you're gonna finish down towards the pocket. I like to call it down to the pocket. Even though you might not go that low, you wanna think of doing that. Too many players are coming up and they're swinging and they're still going up over the shoulder and they wonder why they're flagging the forehand. Luckily, we've got a player that can do it today. Max is going to come in. He's jumping in on the scene right now, and he's going to show us how it's done. So, Max, why don't you demonstrate it first, and then we'll talk a little bit. Go back to the baseline, please. So I'm going to give Max some, some high balls right here. I'm just going to toss them up high in the air as if it's a sitter. He's going to take it down the line and show us his great finish. So the ball's right there. And you can notice where his racket is going. He's catching the racket because he's been taught to do that by his stickler coach. And then he's finishing down. Notice the racket head acceleration because he's finishing fast and across his body. Good. So Max, come in here for a second. So I noticed, why don't you go ahead and put your hand where you, where you finish. So it's somewhere in this area right here. And so Max, tell me what you're thinking about when you're approaching this ball. I'm just trying to get my feet in the right position and then swing pretty fast and aim low over the net. Okay, so I noticed you didn't go over your shoulder, so obviously you've been trained to do to finish lower, but what do you notice happens when you start up here, take the ball shoulder height, and you kind of swing down on What do you notice happens to the ball for you? Well, the ball definitely dives down into the court more, it lasers down into the court, whereas if I finish more over my shoulder, it has a tendency to be higher over the net and float long sometimes. And that's what you want to do on the sitter. You want to get that ball at shoulder height or above, even near the head, and be able to cover that ball, smother that ball, and hit it down into, down into the court. Now, of course, if you're hitting your sitters into the net, then you definitely want to finish a little bit higher. And we can show you how to fix that as well. But if you're missing long and you're not hitting that laser, get it above the shoulder and finish down by the pocket. I really hope you received a ton of value from this lesson today so you can go take action on the court as soon as possible. If you want to see more in-depth breakdown of this lesson and many others, make sure to join us inside the Total Tennis Training Inner Circle where you can get cutting edge tennis tips and strategies that can fix your weaknesses and improve your strengths. If you want to be a part of our growing online tennis community and get the best tennis lessons on the planet, go ahead and click the link below and we'll help you go to the next level with your tennis. I'm really excited to help you out and thanks for taking the time to watch this lesson today.